Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 5.8 from Sadiku book. So the question is obtain I0. I0 is the current that pass through that 50 kilo ohm resistor here in the instrumentation amplifier circuit of figure 5.27. Oke, okay, maybe let's inspect the circuit and let's see what we get from here. Okay, we have an op-amp here and 6.98 volt is connected to this terminal and because the voltage of both op amp terminal is the same we know that the voltage here will be the same as this voltage which is 6.98 okay and the same can be also said for this op amp circuit we have this node here is 7 volt Therefore, this node here also 7 volt. So we can write this node here. Our voltage here will be 7. This is volt and this is volt. Okay. Maybe let's find out the voltage here. Okay. So now let's do KCL. Maybe let's name this node as node A. And let's assume the direction of the current. This is going there, and this is going there, and this goes into the op amp. Let's see KCL at not A. KCL at not A. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out, right? The only current that goes in is from this current here, and that current is 7 minus VA. 7 minus VA divided by 20 divided by 20 and then plus or not plus that will equal to this is the only current that goes in and this current is going out and it's inside the op amp so that will be zero here and then this current here that will be VA minus zero because this is the ground VA minus zero is VA So I will have plus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 40. Okay, maybe let's rewrite this. So I'll have 7 minus VA is equal to VA over 40 multiplied by 20. This 20 and 40 will cancel into 2. And we can multiply both sides by 2. So I'll have 14 minus VA is, oh, I mean 14 minus 2 VA. 2 VA is equal to VA. Right, therefore I will have 14 is equal to 3 VA. Or VA is equal to 14 over 3 so we know the VA and however we have to check this one so remember that the voltage that is in both of the terminal of op amp input will be the same so this will be the same as VA which is 14 over 3 14 over 3 volt And maybe let's name this node here as node P, right? Okay, uh, our whiteboard is full and let's clean this up. So we got our clean board from here and let's do KCL at node P. KCL at node P. And again, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Let's assume that this current will go in and this is goes into op M and this is goes to the right. Okay, so now the current that goes in into node P is just this one. But then I will have 6.98 then minus VB but VB is 14 over 3. So I have 14 over 3 here divided by 20 kilo ohm okay and then what else this current here goes into the op amp so that will be zero 
and then plus VB minus this node here. Maybe let's name this node as V0. So I will have 14 over 3. 14 over 3 minus V0 divided by 40. Okay, maybe let's isolate this one as by moving this 40 to the left hand side. So I'll have 6.98 minus 14 over 3 divided by 20 multiplied by 40 and that will equal to 14 over 3 minus V0. Okay. Now what can we do from here? This 20 and 40 will cancel into 2. And we move this minus V0 to the left hand side. So I have V0. And that will be 14 over 3 minus 2 multiplied by this one. 6.98 and then minus 14 over 3. I think this is the job of our calculator. So let's pull out our calculator. Okay, this is our calculator and let's set it up. So I have 14 divided by 3 and then minus 2 multiplied by 6.98 and then minus 14 over 3. Okay, we should get the V0 here, which is, the value is 0 0.04. So I'll have V0 is 0 0.04, and the unit here will be volt. Okay, now we know V0, we need to find out I0, but I0 can be easily calculated using Ohm's law. So, where should I put this? Let's see I0. I0 is just V0 divided by 50. This is volt and this is kilo ohm. So the unit should be in milliampere. So I will have 0 0.04. And then divided by 40. Okay. And what is the result here? Okay, 0 0.04 divided by 50. Or that will be 8 multiplied by 10 to the minus 4. And the unit here will be milliampere. Or this will be 0 0.8 microampere. Okay, and this is the final result of this problem. That's all. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.